Sorry guys, I'm just thinking about all the cry-worthy books. If you guys are planning on reading some of the books that I mentioned in this video, I would first of all recommend tissues, uh, waterproof mascara, not reading in public places, or if you do, to wear a dark coloured t-shirt so that the tears that manage to escape fall into a shirt where it isn't too noticeable. And to fourthly, prepare in advance to have your heart trod on by these fictional characters that will demand your tears. So I've got these books next to me. And I have to disconnect myself from them right now because if I think about them too much, I am guaranteed to cry. Which is why you guys are here. You guys want to cry. That's definitely healthy. Um, I've gotten 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 books here. Some are standalones, some are series. So the first books is from the same series, and it is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas. Firstly, you have Crown of Midnight. There is a certain character death in this which I am still very upset and angry over. And you also have Queen of Shadows, where this scene happens towards the end of this book, and it is unbelievable what happens. I still am just, like, shocked by it all. So if you guys want to cry, commit yourselves to the Throne of Glass series. It'll kill you. Next up is the third and final book in the Legends series by Mary Lou, and that is Champion. This ending to this book, I find, was... Ugh. If you guys have read this book, you guys know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, I would recommend reading this trilogy. It is a dystopia action awesome trilogy and I really did enjoy it and I'm sure you guys will too but just remember those tissues for the third book. <laughs> Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delaria and I feel like I don't see this book as often as I should. It completely drained me of tears. It was amazing and I loved it. Next up we have On the Jellico Road by Melina Marchetta. You guys need to read this. I love this book so much but at the same time I don't see it as many places as it should be. Especially because it is a cry worthy book you guys will have tears streaming down your face. This book has two different interwining storylines that come together and at the same time is also like a coming of age story and also trying to find your way in the world and I loved it and I mourned it and I felt like my heart was broken and put back together. Of course I have to mention this next book because I pretty much mention in every video that I do and that is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Elias Sayens. I can't actually pinpoint the moments I cried in this book because I not only cried with heartbreaking, heart-wrenching, sad moments but also in happy, gleeful joy of things that happened in this book and I just love it. I don't think I need to pitch this book to you guys because I've done it so often and you should have read it by now. There will be spoilers for this next book because I need to make it clear why I cried and that is Allegiant by Veronica Ross and this is the third and final book in the Divergent series. I know that there's like a spin-off series coming out soon which has the epilogue to this so does this count as the final book? I don't know but I'm gonna say it is. If you guys don't want to know the spoilers in this book I will give you guys a countdown and you guys can mute this video and then I will give you guys a big thumbs up when you guys can listen to it again. So three, two, one, and I did not cry at Triss dying. No, I cried at Yuria dying because he was like my favorite character. I loved him so much and I think it was so unfair what happened to him. I remember my cousin actually reading this book before me and he told me that Yuria died and I just burst out crying because I loved him so much and I thought that he was just joking with me and then I actually read it and I was like heavy sobbing. It was embarrassing. Unmute the video. We're back and there are still books to go. Next up we have The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. This is a wicked dystopia trilogy. I love it very much and and I must say, you will cry if you read this. It is, it is, I... Phew. So in this book, you have a young boy called Todd. He lives in this town called Prentice Town, where it is just men living there, and all of them can hear each other's thoughts. This even includes Todd's dog, Manchi, who he can hear speak. In fact, the first words that Manchi says is that he needs to go for a poo, because he's a dog, and dogs got to poo. And Todd ends up finding out about a secret about this town, and so he's on the run. Him and Manchi are trying to flee from this town. They run into the first girl he's ever seen called Violet, and the three of them are pretty much on the run for their lives. Tears. Probably one of the most tear-filled books I have had. 
So if you guys really want to cry, you can read this. You don't even need to commit to the trilogy. You just have to read the first book. Of course I have to have a John Green book in here because even though I read his books years ago, there were two of them that had me very, very cryy, upsetty, and the first one was The Fault in Our Stars, because if you didn't cry at that, what kind of inhumane robot are you? But also, secondly, Looking for Alaska, this book kind of just hit too close to home for me, and I was absolutely destroyed. I mean, like, sitting in bed, crying my heart out at night time with my family looking on, just like, what is wrong with this child? We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, and if you guys have read this book, you know, you know, okay? And I think that if you guys really want to cry, you should read this. When I first said I was going to read this book, people said to have tears, and I was all like, please, I am a strong, independent woman, I won't cry. Like, I'm not that emotional. Um, fast forward to 2 o'clock in the morning, um, where I am literally sleeping on a wet pillow because I could not control my tears. The Sidekicks by Wilkes Starkis, and this is another book that hit too close to home for me, but I freaking loved it. It was fantastic, and I think it is one of the books that will forever sit with me and that I would always have my bookshelf and always recommend to people. So you guys should read it. It is about three friends who all had one best friend in common, and when that one best friend unfortunately passes away, it is a story of how they are coping with it and how their friendship will continue from then. And heart-wrenching. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. This is another book that is just so heavy and emotional and you are so connected to it and you are hanging off every single word and sad things happen and bad things happen and you're just so emotional and you just love it though. So in this book you follow the story of Clay. Basically he receives a package in the mail about it from a girl who had committed suicide a few weeks earlier and inside this package is 13 tapes with 13 reasons on why she died and Clay, our character who is the main person in this, is one of those reasons. So yeah heartbreaking and soul-destroying, but good. <laughs> Second last, we have The Impossible Knife of Memory by Laura House Anderson, and I was not prepared for this book. I did not think it would be as amazing as it was, and I highly recommend it. You guys need to read it. This is a book that will change you. And lastly are my cry-worthy books, and don't you guys think that I forgot about it. You know it's going to be mentioned in this video because it is not only my favourite book, but it is also the most heartbreaking book I have ever read. I have never cried as many tears as I did reading this book. I swear there are probably marks in this where my tears have dried, and that is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. And I don't think I need to tell you guys much about this book. I think I have mentioned it enough that you guys should know about it. But either way, if you guys really want to cry and you like historical fiction, pick it up. You will love it. You will definitely cry. So there you guys have cry-worthy books and I'm sure that you guys will be using plenty of tissues and fingers crossed not crying too much but you will cry. What can I say? They are sob-worthy books, tears, snot, a mess. You're gonna love them. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon and until then I hope you guys have a lovely bookish day and that great things happen to you. Isn't it great? They look amazing on my shelf. They ask you how you are you to say that you're fine. You're not really fine.